Well, join us in, joining us here on the set is Brian Bernie. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right. So, there, again, there's so much going on here in Lake <laughs> Orion, and usually this time of the year, uh, we're leading up into the Jubilee. This has traditionally been a really big time in Lake Orion. They've always celebrated Jubilee and Fourth of July, and we have archival footage of things going on in the village for years and years and years. Um, so pretty much from, from Jubilee through Fourth of July, uh, Lake Orion is a party town. Talk <laughs> about the origins of Lake Orion's American summer. Sure. Um, so seven years ago, so this is the seventh anniversary, um, my wife Kathy and I decided to start a second business that basically bridged that gap between the Jubilee and the 4th of July fireworks. Um, because those are two great events, two events that everybody looks forward to in Lake Orion, whether you're family, you're, whether you're elderly, whether you're young, whether you, you, know, you have kids, you don't have kids, I mean it's just, it's just a good time, right? Um, and this is before we had all the great restaurants and bars. I mean, right. well, the, the amount, I should say. Right. We've yeah, always yeah. had great restaurants and bars, but not to this capacity. But yeah. so we looked at it as a, hey, let's let's try to put something together that promotes everything in, in Orion, all over Orion, not just downtown uh, and not just restaurants and bars, you know, just w what can we put together and how can we, how can we show one, our community members, all the great things. There's a lot of things in here that people that live here their whole life don't know. Um, so that, that's another reason. So basically we're the, the keeper of the calendar of everything that's going on during that time frame. Um, so it's, it started seven years ago. So we try to partner with as many people as possible, try to promote as many things as, as going on. Obviously the Jubilee is a huge part of that. Uh, that what is it, L-O-F-F now? That used to be LOFA fireworks, now it's oh, right. L-O-F-F fireworks. Um, <laughs> that you know their their show and then so we try to try to get as busy as possible during that so we do restaurant week uh which is the june 27th through july 3rd and then the ever popular pub crawl yeah. june 30th um and that's all over orion so the 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 cool thing about this pub crawl is it's an open crawl we call it a lot of times people think, oh, we, we, you know, we're here for 15 minutes and then we have to go as a group. No, this is, this is something you do on your own schedule. Yep. We partner with NOTA. We have shuttle buses all throughout town, um, up and down Baldwin, across Joslin that will connect you to Lapeer and then up and down Lapeer. So uh, it's well thought out, well planned. I mean, trial and error a couple of years. Uh, but the biggest thing is, you know, people are just having a good time. Um, and, you know, really we're trying to stimulate the economy, economy as well making sure that, you know, a lot of times people travel during that week. So we want to make sure our restaurants and bars are taken care of and there's something to do. And more importantly, you know, if we can bring some extra money in from Oxford and Clarkston and Rochester and have those people spend money <laughs> in our, our town, Come even, celebrate. even Come better. Celebrate right. With us, right. right. Well, coincidentally, <laughs> Thursday, which is the pub crawl, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a trolley that will bring our Oxford oh, viewers yes. to Lake Orion, yeah. come to Lake Orion, experience what we have to offer, and then the trolley will take you back to right. yeah. North yeah. Orion, as Absolutely. Chris Barnett calls it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, tr we don't compete, or at least we try not to compete with other things. It, it's the more the merrier, the more things that are going on. So we, we just try to help the Jubilee with promotion. And then that you know that's Thursday through Sunday. Then Monday, Restaurant Week kicks off through that Sunday. That Thursday is the pub crawl. Friday's flare night. And then we got another fireworks show, the L O F. I, do we? How do we even say that now? It's Lake Lofa. Do we have Lofa Loaz and Loaf? I guess <laughs> we'll, just, we'll call it Loaf for now on. Uh, loaf is Saturday, so we have fireworks shows with the Jubilee this Saturday, and then we have the Loaf okay. fireworks next Saturday. So how does uh, Restaurant Week work? If you go to a participating restaurant, are there deals? What? Why yeah. would someone take part in Restaurant so Week? So really the, the, the main gist of Restaurant Week and, and really any community is just to get people out and about to try new things. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, keep your money here, spend your money here, but you know, go out with a family, go out, have fun, go out on a date, you know, take your honey to somewhere you've never been. I mean, there's so many great restaurants and bars around here now, it's hard yeah. to get to. You know, so, you know, try the new places, um, try a meal you haven't. So what we do is we just ask the, the bars and restaurants to provide uh, any kind of special. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's, 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 uh, 
it's a hard job, I'll tell you, trying to get these specials from our from our people. But um, <laughs> it's uh, they, they you know they're busy, so um, we try our best. So sometimes they don't even change up their specials because the specials are so good um, that they you know just there people don't people know about. There are some people that are looking forward to those again the right. next year. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. So and but that's fine. Up. And and all the specials you list on your website, right? The Lake Orion American Summer yep. website. Yep. Okay. LO American Summer is the web. LO American Summer dot com is the website. Okay. Um, we're, we're, don't look at it right now because we're still no, trying yet. to yes. get things still you know, early, ironed but... out. I mean, this is it's a labor of love. I'll tell yep. you. And people are always like, "Well, the specials are nice. It's it's okay. They will." Um, <laughs> the pub crawl specials, the restaurant week specials. It's yep. just it's kind of a eleventh hour thing, yeah. unfortunately. Well, every that's year. what I, I mean. That's yeah. what I've done. My kids and I, we've done that in the past. <clears throat> we've always participated in one way, shape, or form in uh, Lake Orion American Summer. And so you know that. Day Day even we're like oh we want to get something you know we want to go somewhere and so we'll get on the website and see mm -hmm. okay what what's maybe something we haven't tried before yeah. so yeah. yeah and the cool thing about the pub crawl is they come up with signature cocktails and drinks mm -hmm. and a lot of, you know it's very patriotic I mean as yes. most people know each bar has different sets of beads and people like to go around yes. kind of Mardi Gras style and, and yeah. get the different color beads believe it or not I don't know why everyone <laughs> even I get caught up in it and I'm the one that <laughs> buys know. buys the beads and I'm like oh we got to go over here got to go get the colors the blue oh where beads, did you get you know? that color from so, <laughs> right? yeah, you know it's so it's just one of those and people will stop you where did you get the red ones we're like oh yeah. you got to go to sagebrush or you know yeah. 313 pizza has uh, so it's just kind of yeah. one of those those silly things that yeah. and then they get home and they just throw them away but it's okay it's, it's all, not everybody it's all some of us put it in our you know costume bins for, well, you yeah, know, when true, you need it true. for other you know yeah. other events so. yeah. as a yeah. resident of Lake Orion to get involved with pub crawl yeah. or restaurant week does it cost me anything it does um, so it's right now it's twenty four dollars um, and a portion of those proceeds we donate back to the Orion Veterans Memorial. Okay. Last year we, were, we donated $1,000. Uh, the year before we donated all proceeds to Love Inc. Um, because unfortunately the pub crawl had to be canceled the night before. Oh, I um, remember that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we gave everyone the option. We said, look, we'll refund you your money or we're gonna, you will take 100% of it and donate it to Love Inc. And I would probably say 85% of the people just said donate it. Fun. which was really cool. So yeah. uh, we were able to cut them an even bigger check um, during a, really a time where they, they desperately needed it. So yeah, so yeah we, every year we give back to a charity. Um, there's been a number of charities. Uh, th these last few years we've done Orion Veterans Memorial. Um, just for obvious, I sit on the board for, for them, so I, I know there's a huge need um, for, for that. I mean, there's lots of big needs out there, but I know that one up close and personal. Um, so we, we do, this is again, probably two years, this will be two years in a row for Orange Veterans Memorial. So. I know in the past you've had a, an official kickoff event. Do you plan a, on having a kickoff event or are you just saying, go? It's just going to be the Jubilee this year. Yeah. yeah, we've done pool party in the past, um, you know, and it's just, it, it, believe it or not, things are still somewhat slow with the whole COVID era, you know, mm -hmm. so I mean, you know, maybe next year, the year after we could do even more. Um, but you know you don't want to bite off more than you can chew and um, trying to really focus on you know highlighting the businesses here and, and just just rebuilding those those key things that we've done restaurant week pub crawl you know helping with the jubilee helping to raise money for the fireworks etc so you know just kind of keep it simple you know and just you know build our foundation yeah. on stone here and then maybe in the next few years we can really ramp it up again um, so when the here. website is ready a uh, person goes to the website, they register, take care of all that. Correct. And then you had mentioned something about a lanyard or something. Yep. What, what, so Talk about that. So um, it, this week is the final week that they can get their lanyard mailed to them. And it, it's a simple lanyard with a card on it. It's got our sponsors and uh, designated driver information, a QR code so they can scan and get all the specials. Um, so yeah, it's just that's another keepsake that people have. We change the logo up every year. Uh, there is merchandise for sale. That's all on our website. Um, it's it's pretty simple. It has an American flag and a dragon, <laughs> and, and, and then we believe it or not, we've come up with seven different variations. Yeah. Um, and a collection we'll, of them. Yeah, and they're they're really cool. So um, yeah. every year our designers blow me away because I'm like, I don't know, can you do it again? And they're like, Yep. It's like perfect. So they do a really good job. We've got great sponsors this year. The sponsor of the pub calls Elevate. Uh, it's a new business in town. They do um, IVs and wellness. So ironically, they have a hangover IV. Um, <laughs> 
So if anyone needs an extra little I don't boost think the next day, needs those. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but they have all sorts of wellness there. Um, it's a, it's part of the, a collective they call it. It's another business, but inside of that is Elevate. Um, it's it's IVs and wellness. Um, and then Citizen State Bank is the presenting sponsor for Restaurant Week. And then we have a slew of other sponsors. And this is a really cool story. So last year we started this. Um, and I can't take credit for it. It's my wife Kathy that came up with this um, because w obviously last year, you know, things were starting to open up. Um, but restaurants, honestly, you know, we used to charge them a fee to, to participate because there's a lot of there's a lot of you know money that has to be spent. Uh, believe it or not, those beads aren't cheap. The lanyards aren't cheap. Notice, I mean, notice great, but they're not cheap. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for what we're using them for. So there's a lot of expenses um, that goes along with it. So you know, we had. To, I mean, they stand to gain a lot of money. You know, if we got 300 people that are, you know, you have one drink and some mozzarella sticks. You know, times 300, you're doing pretty good yeah. for a night, right? So Last year, we didn't want to have to charge them, but we also we're not going to do this, you know, to go and, you know, to lose money, right? And the point is to raise money and, and you know, donate things. So, um, so what we did is we asked the business community to sponsor the bars and restaurants. And we're doing that again this year, and it was great. We had so many people jump in. Um, there'll be a whole list of them. Like, I mean, we, we're looking at possibly 16 participating restaurants and bars. So that's by basically 16 sponsors. I mean, all you know, all the local like Chris Barnett sponsoring, Donnie Steele sponsoring, one Northern Flooring, uh, Michigan United Credit Union. They're sponsoring four. Um, uh, Craig Zemeski, AAA Insurance. I mean, yeah. there's tons of people. We can still take a couple more. Um, that would be helpful to Bernie Directive. That's, that's yeah. a great local <laughs> marketing agency. They're, they're uh, sponsoring the Wine Social. Um, there's a lot of different uh, businesses that have, that have ponied up and are sponsoring them so they, they can just concentrate on getting staff, pouring the drinks, making the food, and making money, you know, for themselves and their staff. So um, that I love that part of it. It's, it's, it's a new thing. Obviously, last year it worked out great. We're doing it again this year, and I will do it, you know, as long as we're doing this. So, um, but it gets more people involved, takes the burden off the restaurants and bars, um, and hopefully everyone just has a great time. And, and more importantly, hopefully the bars and restaurants have a record night. I mean, that's, that's kind of why we started doing this. And this was way before COVID, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, but now it's even more important. So yeah, uh, talk about that. You know, the the DDA, like Hawaiian mm -hmm. DDA, their objective is to try and get people to shop local and keep sure. money local. Talk about the importance of that. Talk about spending your dollars here in Lake Orion. Sure. I mean, you know, I, I so as you guys know, but the audience may not. So obviously, the owner of the Bernie Directive, which is the local marketing agency, and we focus on. Uh, small businesses in the area. I mean, we have clients outside the area, but the, I would say 75% of our clients are in North Olkin County. So we, we see directly the impact of shopping local and doing business and referring business and and helping s those businesses out because that's the, I mean sometimes that's that's what makes or break. I know it makes or breaks us. When we joined the chamber, that was a huge thing. We were just getting started joined the chamber and we immediately took off and we had a slew of clients right away. So, I mean, I know firsthand that the whole shopping local concept built our business and we're, we've been in business for nine years going on 10. So it's okay. hugely important. Yeah, the restaurant owners, um, most of them, if not all, they, they are our community members as well. Right. So mm -hmm. their families live here. They're, we see them at school events, um, you know, when we're out in the parks. So, you know, we're helping to support our community members by, sure. by eating out locally and shopping locally so yeah. well yeah and you see you know you see the people that like you said that a lot of the restaurant owners are local here then you, you go there and you spend a dollar and they give that dollar to an employee that that goes and you know uses you for being a realtor and then they buy a house I mean just that dollar yeah. continues to go around in the community and that's I mean that's what it's all about so it, it's it's I'm a strong advocate for shopping local and you know, keeping those dollars here. Yeah, and if you do patronize a local restaurant or pub or whatever, use social media to, to let people know if you had a good experience. Sure. I see a lot of negativity on social media and people bad mouth businesses, and I'm like, what are you doing? Right. Yeah. Bad mouth local businesses. Let's right. support them. Let's spread the, the positive message mm -hmm. that there's a lot of great businesses here in Lake Orion, and oh, yeah. this is gonna help yes. do that, I think. Absolutely, so. I, I think so, yeah. And, 
you know, pull the, pull the person aside rather than smearing them on some, because that's, a, we do that for a living and there's a lot of smearing, mm -hmm. you know, and there's, a, you know, you got to be on your game to make sure you try to stay in front of that. And it's unfortunate. I mean, and, you know, sometimes it's rightfully so, you know, but everyone has bad days, right. you know, yeah. uh, you can't always make the best nachos in the world. You know? <laughs> I mean, they may not be the best that day, but, you know, just say something to the waiter and you'll probably get those nachos half off or something right, like that. Exactly. It's like, there's no point in taking it out and, and deterring someone from going right. there. So, Great. Right. Yeah. Well, let's support Lake Orion. And to get involved with uh, Lake Orion's American Summer, you're going to visit. Uh, is it L-O American Summer yeah. or is it spelled out Lake Orion? No, it's, it's, so it's, it's easy. You just say L-O American Summer. L-O American Dot com. Summer. Dot com. So, and that's going to be ready in a day or two. So the website's up right now, okay. uh, and, and the calendar's up to speed. Our, our sponsors, everything's up to date except the specials. Sure. So just give us some time on that, and believe me, you'll you'll know when it's set because we'll blast it out as much as we possibly can. Yes. Great. So things get underway this Thursday at the Jubilee. That runs through the weekend. Uh, the Jubilee Fireworks is this Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh, best viewing spot would be Greens Park, maybe, That's or Pelton's spot. Point. Uh, usually about 10 p.m. they launch the fireworks uh, over the lake. Uh, and then we get bonus fireworks <laughs> a week later. The weekend of 4th of July uh, is going to be the fireworks over the lake then, too. So lots to do. And uh, who knows, maybe someday we're going to extend Lake Orion's American, American Summer all the way to Dragon on the Lake. Let's do a whole summer. Yeah, the uh, whole summer, yeah, right? Yeah. Having fun here at Lake Orion. We'll see. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for coming All right, out. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.